Okay, I'm back. Um, I have all my pictures taken and ready. Um, that's what I use for my Etsy site. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple things first. Um, before I started into soaping, um, I had taken several cake decorating classes a couple years ago and I had really got into cake decorating a lot and made cakes mainly for my family. I didn't, you know, make anything to sell or anything like that, but um, really, really love cake decorating. So when I found out that you could actually use the same tools um, and the same sort of same techniques with soap that you do with cakes, I was pretty excited because uh, that just, you know, that, that kind of covered two things for me, you know, decorating, which I love to do, like cake decorating, and then I really, really was interested in the soap making. So uh, I was really happy about that when I figured out that I could do that. So, um, but what I found is the soap, it has a different consistency than what the uh, buttercream icing has, for example, the decorator's icing. It's, it seems to be more dense um, whereas your decorator icing is a little bit more fluffier. Um, and it's hard to get the consistency just right with a soap to do a lot of different, um, you know, things like the, the scallop things are fine and this little piping here down here is fine. But uh, I'm still working on trying to get it to the right consistency uh, that I could do things like roses. I would just love to make soap roses to decorate on cakes. And, and I'm, I'm going to get there eventually. I just haven't made it there yet. But um, it, it's kind of hard to get it because either it's too thin, uh, like this consistency is too thin, what I, I used here is too thin to make roses, but it's perfect for something like this. Um, but by the time usually I found that the soap is hard enough to uh, like make roses and it's stiff enough it's more clumpy and it's not as smooth so anyway I've got to work on that some more but I've got you know I, I, I want to do a lot more with that uh, because that's really what I'm very interested in so a bit more coffee anyway but I'm gonna cut this cake and the way I'm gonna do it um, the, the cake is not really big it's it's definitely a mini cake um, and what I've kind of measured out is that this cake should cut pretty easily into six slices and they wouldn't be too chunky. Uh, it would be the, the six slices will be more in proportion to the size of the cake. So it won't look like if I just quartered it, you're going to have big, you know, big chunks of cake, but I, I want it to look like slices. So, um, I'm, I'm going to cut it and, and try to make six slices out of it. So, and I'm a little worried that it's too soft. I'm a little worried that maybe the inside um, might be too hard. So that's part of the reason why I want to go ahead and cut it now and just see. I'm not really sure at this point how long I should let it, um, you know, let it harden up or firm up before I cut it. So this, this is going to be a big um, kind of an experiment. So, and then I had the glycerin on the top too on this cake and um, so I'm going to have to you know be able to cut through the um, the floor to lee that I have on the top so I'll show you that again oh and this is something else that's cool <laughs> I can't just reach and touch a cake and pick it up <laughs> if I ice it you know with uh, if it's a real cake to eat so this was kind of neat you know because you know sometimes you would love to do that with a cake that you ice you like to be able to just reach over and pick it up and move it. Instead, you have to go under it and be real careful and uh, try not to mess anything up. So this is kind of cool about that. I do like that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. So here goes. I hope it don't mess up. I see everybody do this on, on the videos and I'm thinking, oh, wow. <laughs> so. I'm just as anxious as they are when they cut their cakes, so that, that's the way I feel right now. So here we go. Okay, 
and there's the first cut. And that cut it in half. Oh, how neat! <laughs> how cool! Look at there. Isn't that neat? Oh, you can't see it. There. Isn't that neat? Oh, I'm very happy with it. So far, I'm very happy with it. Okay, so now I just need to cut each half into thirds. The middle part is not too bad. It's a little, it's a little soft, but it's not too bad. It's actually um, much firmer than what I thought it was going to be. So. The um, glycerin on the top, it moved just a little bit, but not a whole lot. Let's see, Let me find the middle, Just about right there. So I may rethink putting the glycerin on the top. Like that where I have to cut through it. Because it's a little not quite so stable. Now if I cut around it, like um, on this one here, the um, so I'm going to cut in between the hearts. So I'm not going to have to cut through them. But those hearts are um, cold process. But this on the top was glycerin. It's really pretty. I like it because I was able to put glitter in the uh, purple part, the part that I poured first into the mold. And I really like that because the glitter is sparkly and you can see it. And um, see if I'd done that with cold process soap, that wouldn't have worked. I wouldn't have been able to see the glitter. So this is what the cake slices look like. Aren't they cute? You look at it from this side. So I'm happy with it. Really happy with it. See. This is so strange to be able to pick it up like this though. Because I'm used to cakes with realizing that you can't do that with. <laughs> oh, I just watched Karen's video a few minutes ago. She um, gave us all a tour of um, where she has her shop at in the street that she's on. It's on Station Street. It is so cool. I, I just think it's so, um, you know, kind of, it's got a lot of old world charm. It's um, quaint and, um, you know, small streets and little shops. I just think that is so neat. You know, we just don't have places or very many places like that over here in the States. Or we don't where I live, I'll put it that way. Another slice. But I think that's so neat. Um, and the one place I've never been is Europe. And um, I told somebody in a message the other day, um, I've been all over the world. I've been, <laughs> I haven't been to the Far East. I've been to South America, Brazil, Argentina, 
Mexico so many times, it's not even funny. Love Mexico. Uh, Puerto Rico, um, a lot of places in the U.S. I've been uh, because I used to be in sales and I traveled a good bit. So I visited a lot of different places. But the one place I never did get to go was Europe. And that is probably the place I would love to go. And there's a lot of different reasons, but um, one reason is that um, my heritage, I guess, my ancestry, I have traced back to, um, <coughs> excuse me, Great Britain. And I mean, it goes way, 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 way back. Like early, what? 1200s or whatever so anyway I just would love to go there and I just think it's such a just a mm.